In the quiet town of Westview, among all the chaos, reality bending powers and sitcom throwbacks, one character stole the show with her wit, charm, humour and a dash of devious magic, Agatha Harkness. Whether she was the nosy neighbour or revealing her dark secrets, Agatha's character in WandaVision was unforgettable. So let's recap and dive headfirst into the steaming hot cauldron of her show-stealing performance. When Wanda Maximoff created the perfect little world of Westview, Agatha showed up as the quirky neighbour Agnes. Hello dear, I'm Agnes, your neighbour to the right. My right, not yours. Forgive me for not stopping by sooner to welcome you to the block. My mother-in-law was in town, so I wasn't. Agnes was always round, popping by for a chat, helping out with the twins, or delivering a hilarious line. How is anybody doing this sober? She fitted in perfectly into the sitcom worlds, but while everyone else seemed clueless about the true nature of Westview, Agnes stood out. Uh, do you want me to take that again? Uh, I'm sorry? You want me to hold the babies. Something never sat quite right with her, and it didn't take long for us to think, who really is Agnes? Or maybe I could just be myself, more or less. <laughs> As the episodes continued, Agnes's behaviour started to raise eyebrows. Whether it's her perfect timing or how she conveniently shows up when something odd happens, it's clear there's more to her than meets the eye. But the real turning point comes when Vision starts piecing together things. Remember this moment. <gasps> Avengers, your vision. Are you here to help us? I am vision. I do want to help. But what's an Avenger? She seemed like another victim of Wanda's control, or was she? Again, something wasn't quite right. At the time, I had a feeling that Wanda was faking it. Don't know about you. How did you feel at this moment? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> And then, in episode 7, the truth began to unravel. Billy realises something's off, and he can sense Agatha's thoughts. It's clear she's using her magic to hide her true intentions. You're quiet, Agnes. On the inside. Then, in classic sitcom style, Agatha breaks the fourth wall. But this isn't just for laughs. She's letting us, the audience, in on Wanda's fragile state of mind. You try telling a 10-year-old that his mother is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And Agnes, and we'll get to that name in a minute, steps in just time to pull Wanda away from a tense moment with Agent Rambo. She casually mentions that Wanda's twins are in the basement, but when Wanda goes to find them, she discovers a far more sinister secret, a dark, mysterious lair. With Wanda trapped, Agnes finally reveals her true identity. The name's Agatha Harkness. Lovely to finally meet and what follows? A vision of Agatha's handiwork, showing us she's been manipulating events all along. She even confesses to killing poor Sparky and sending the fake Pietro Maximoff to mess with Wanda. And how does she do the grand reveal? Not a dramatic, boring monologue. It's in song form. That's right. Agatha belts out her evil deeds in a catchy tune, Agatha All Along. She's been pulling strings the whole time, using her dark magic to watch Wanda's every move. But who is Agatha Harkness, really? In the comics, she first appeared in the Fantastic Four issue 94 as a powerful sorceress. But unlike her TV version, comic Agatha was more of a mysterious nanny hired to take care of Franklin, the son of Reed and Sue Richards, while the Fantastic Four were off saving the day. Quite a contrast to the darker, more cunning version, wouldn't you say? Sparky too. <laughs> In episode 8 we flash back to Salem, 1693. Agatha Harkness is dragged before a coven of witches led by her own mother, Evanora, for practicing dark magic. But things don't go as planned. Instead of facing punishment, Agatha turns the tables. As the witches try to destroy her, she absorbs their magic and drains the life from them, including her own mother. <laughs> Now 
Now fast forward to the present day where Agatha has Wanda in her grasp. She's determined to find out how Wanda is controlling Westview. To get the answers, Agatha forces Wanda to relieve the most traumatic moments of her life, like the day Wanda's parents were killed. Wanda and her brother, Pietro, were trapped in the rubble next to an unexploded bomb. Agatha deduces that Wanda wasn't just an ordinary child, she was in fact born a witch, unknowingly using the basic hex magic to stop the bomb from going off. What? Used a probability hex. Then we're taken to Wanda's time under Hydra's experiments with the Mind Stone. Agatha suggests that this encounter didn't give Wanda her powers, but rather it amplified the magical abilities. So, little orphan Wanda got up close and personal with an infinity stone that amplified what otherwise would have died on the vine. Agatha discovers the real reason behind Westview, but before Wanda can react, she hears the twins crying for help. She finds them held captive by Agatha, who mocks Wanda for not understanding the full extent of her powers. Your children. Vision. This whole little life you've made. Agatha reels that Wanda has been wielding chaos magic, the most powerful kind of magic, and that this makes her the mythical Scarlet Witch. This is chaos magic, Wanda. And that makes you the Scarlet Witch. In episode 9, the final, Agatha tries to steal Wanda's chaos magic but her plan is interrupted by the arrival of the white, reassembled and reanimated Vision, who immediately attacks Wanda. Fortunately, he's stopped by the Vision that Wanda created herself. Harkness continues her assault on Wanda, and things escalate when she frees the residents of Westview from Wanda's spell, releasing them from their sitcom personas. They beg Wanda to set them free. Harkness starts to drain Wanda's magic, but there's one thing she didn't see coming. Wanda attempts to fight back by using illusions from Agatha's past, but Harkness quickly takes control, turning the tables on Wanda and overpowering her. Wanda has secretly cast powerful runes around the barrier, preventing Agatha from using her own magic. With the tables turned, Wanda reclaims all of her power, fully embracing her destiny as the Scarlet Witch. In a final twist, Wanda traps Agatha in the role of her sitcom alter ego, Agnes, leaving her to live out her days in Westview. Agatha's story might have been wrapped up in WandaVision, but it's not over yet. With the upcoming series Agatha all along, it's clear that Marvel has big plans for this powerful witch. What role will Agatha play in the future of the MCU? We'll have to wait and see. But one thing's for sure, there's plenty more magic left in her story. So what did you think of Agatha in WandaVision? Was she your favourite character? Let me know your favourite Agatha moments in the comments below. Thanks for watching and remember, it was Agatha all along. And I killed Sparky too.